Hi everyone, today we will talk about how to access samples in SAP dashboard design. Uh, now uh, we have uh, we can access uh, f from file menu and then go to samples. Uh, under categories, there is only one category, and we will demonstrate today accordion menu. We have a lot of uh, samples here, like others and charts others uh, using a map others using a selectors we have uh, many many samples here today we will demonstrate accordion menu okay, press ok now we can see a ready made example loaded with some dummy data here we can uh, preview this example it is ready to be uh, used this example we can see on the left here an accordion menu the accordion menu uh, come with four main categories east region west south and north under each region there is a cell uh, cell branch when i click on a branch it will display the trend sales by thousands for this branch now we want to reuse this sample and to uh, put our own data I will uh, we'll go here uh, first let's try to understand this uh, let's, uh, sample here we have the accordion menu we we'll select accordion menu and go to uh, accordion menu properties we can see here in general that we have the four categories defined here category name is pointing to a cell in excel this one Excelsior uh, East region so we have here in the data we have the four uh, uh, four uh, region defined here this is the east region this is the west this is south and this is north okay to change this i will change it to uh, change it to be like uh, your european countries like here for example germany here i would make it france and here I will make it England and here I will make it Spain okay and now as you can see let's uh, press enter here now as you can see the category names are sh changed according to what we entered here now the second part is to modify the, the, the cities under each country here i will add one or two cities per country for example here i will uh, add uh, uh, under germany we will add uh, berlin munich sorry berlin New munich and hamburg And we will remove the extra rows records here. We don't need this. France, we will add Paris and Monaco. We will remove the extra records here. And under England, we will add London. And remove the extra records here. Under under Spain we will add Madrid, Madrid and Barcelona and we will remove the extra rows here. Now let's check our example here. Let's try to preview this. Now here is shown like Berlin under Germany. Here is show Munich, Hamburg. Ah, but we have here some empty uh, cities because we only remove the cities. To remove this from the accordion menu, we can use this option. Go to accordion menu and then go to behavior tab. Under ignore blank cells, 
uh, take the ignore plank cell in category names and ignore plank cell in values as well okay now let's try again preview this here it's show Berlin, Munich, Hamburg okay and there is nothing to select here only three cities because the remaining uh, records are empty it's excluded from the accordion France we have Paris, Monaco nothing else to select England we have only London Spain we have Madrid and Barcelona okay now we can modify the data here we can modify the data here to display our own data or to leave it as it is now let's try to understand this the accordion menu will uh, insert rows and the destination will be this zero one the destination here is defined this yellow row so if you select any cities any city from here it will take this row for example if i select berlin it will copy this row and insert it in this destinations yellow market uh, cells the bar chart is built on top of that so if we go to bar chart here and then go to data we will find only one series for sales and the values read from the yellow cells here so it's working simply like this the accordion men menu will uh, know uh, which uh, uh, this is why uh, accordion menu is a selector it will uh, you will select a city and then when you select a city it will insert a row because we define here a row based on your selection and we define the destination here in the yellow market cells and we have a bar chart built on this dynamic area now because the yellow market cells now are dynamic it will change change based on your selection if i select a city it will insert the data for this city in in this area the yellow mar uh, yellow market one this means that this area is a dynamic and so our chart is show like a dynamic when I preview again, when I select a city, it shows the data for the city here because now when I click on Munich, it inserted the data for Munich in the yellow row, that uh, the yellow uh, row, and the uh, part chart is built on top of that row. Okay. Uh, one last thing because, uh, before we conclude our session today, uh, here we can also insert the category name for any reason we may want to insert uh, Germany in somewhere here or France or France England or something I want to know that Berlin is under Germany or Munich is under Germany so I'm in the Germany region so I will use here category names destination I will insert this in a cell here let's say here for example and I will mark this cell yellow as well because it will be uh, dynamic cell now it's empty and I will display this category the country in our case in a text box navigate to text components take a label here and I will bind this label link it to this cell a uh, dynamic one okay now it show empty let's see at runtime how it will work preview again Ah, as we can see now, Berlin, it shows that we are in Germany country, Munich, Hamburg. So this cell will read the category. It will insert the category, the current category, current selected category. If I go to France, it will insert France in the cell that we already added. So when I select Paris and Monaco, so I know that Paris and Monaco is under France, England. So London, it will uh, show that London this belong to England and finally Spain I have Madrid and Barcelona Madrid and Barcelona is under Spain thanks for listening and hope so, uh, that you can come back to see more information about SAP dashboard design thank you